Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I've been covering a lot of Microsoft Excel's linked data types, which are just really cool. Um, they have another linked data type called Movies. And again, Microsoft not only has the linked data type called Movies, if you have a Microsoft 365 account, you will end up having this linked data type. But they also now have a template based on the linked data type movies. It is called the Favorite Movie List Template. I've already downloaded it. I've already opened it up. I will put a link to Microsoft's web page where you can download this template. Plus, I just did the Baby Name Tracker template later this week. That's out there if you're looking for names for your babies. I've done the College Decision Helper template. It's on this page, too, that I'm going to give you and the relocation helper te template if you're deciding to move it analyzes cities but let's take a look at these movies the welcome worksheet is the first worksheet it just has general information so i'm not going to cover it all the magic really starts happening right here on the movie list worksheet the movies you see under title are already in here from microsoft i didn't put them in here so here's what's cool about this. If you notice, they all have this little icon to the left of them. So I'm on Shrek. If I come over here to the cast worksheet at the bottom, and I want to see who was in Shrek, click here. Whatever I have on the movie list worksheet shows up in my drop down list. So when I pick Shrek, all the cast should change down below and it does. So what I, I could have figured out the cast using the linked data type up here. That would have worked, no problem. But I like that I get pictures down here of who is in the movie. That's a cool feature. So let's go now and add some movies ourselves. So you can actually get rid of these two. One other feature that I like, let me scroll up just a tad, is if you notice it says type here. So I type here. I like scary movies. I'm going to do Cabin in the Woods, and I'm going to come back with Star Wars in just a second. When I hit the Tab key, it goes and it picks it up, and it gives it the little movie icon next to it. And it found all the information. Whoops, my bad. It's jumping around, jumping around just a tad. Because um, I'm recording, by the way, not the spreadsheet itself. So there's the information. Let's go see if my drop down works. So if I go to cast up at the top, I just put in cabin in the woods. This is interesting. The official movie is the cabin in the woods. So, and it looks like it's working. So one more, let's try star Wars. I'm hoping that star Wars by itself doesn't work and you'll see why tab. That's actually correct. If you notice, it didn't pick it up, but I got a blue question mark because if you click it, click it, it wants to know, okay, which Star Wars are you looking for? Uh, I'm going to pick right here, episode four. So I should see Mark Hamill. I do Harrison Ford one more time, directed by George Lucas. Let's go see if that shows up in my cast. Click, use the drop down, don't type it in there. Star Wars, and we are in business with this. So that is your uh, favorite movie list template. One other item, they have a dashboard here where you can come in here and put in your favorite movies. Again, it's still pulling. So right now, I didn't change this. Brad Pitt was the default. So let's put in Harrison Ford and see what happens. There you go. So I picked up the Star Wars movie that I have in here. Back to the movie list. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions about uh, linked data types in Excel or any of these awesome templates that they keep rolling out to Microsoft 365 subscribers, just let me know in the comments down below and have a great day.